Subaru's emergency automatic braking system controlled by the two cameras up in the windshield has been around for years now. So in 2020, that became standard on all but the manual transmission Subarus. And it's been really great to have as a safety feature. But what happens when you go through a car wash? Do you need to turn that camera system off or can you leave them on? Well, today I'm gonna answer that question for you. We are going to drive the car through the car wash and see what happens. All right, so we made it here to the car wash. I haven't messed with any of the settings. So this is typically how your car will come new with default settings. The eyesight system should be on. In this case, the eyesight system is on. And I haven't adjusted anything else. We'll talk about some of the settings in just a moment here to be aware of, but we're just gonna go through the car wash now to see what happens. All right, so here we go. And every car wash is a little bit different. This one is a smaller car wash we have here, but uh, it gets the job done and uh, it doesn't have that many brushes as you can tell. Some car washes that you go into will have their, their belt driven and they'll require you to put your car in neutral before you uh, go through it. But in this case, we just keep our car in drive and as you can tell, there's nothing interfering with the camera system, at least as of yet. It's letting us go through. Kind of hard to tell if we're still going straight that's one reason why i don't necessarily like these that are requiring you to kind of drive through on your own because you can hit the sides or the rails with your wheels but uh anyways yeah this one does a decent job and and as we can see nothing went off there was no beeping i know it's probably a little bit loud there but there was no beeping and nothing interfered with our eyesight cameras so a lot of people may be surprised to uh, to see that, but um, I don't know how it was with previous generations because they first came out with the eyesight safety system in Subaru, at least in 2013. It wasn't standard then, it was only on certain trim levels. I believe it was on the, the Outback Limiteds and Touring's the higher trim. And then, you know, of course, they've upgraded this technology over the years, not only the hardware, but also the software that controls that. And so I'm sure with updates, they have changed that to allow for better detection when you're going through the car wash and, and plus you're also going through a car wash at low speeds. It's not like you're going fast. So that probably only engages whenever you're going at a higher speed and you're not gonna be going quick through a car wash. So more often than not, you shouldn't have to turn off your emergency braking system. But if you are those who still wanna know how to turn that system on or off or just to check to see, you can go into your car settings. Now, this is on a 2024 Outback, but it's going to be applicable to now all of the Subarus except for the Forester, but even the Forester is going to be changing over to this soon. And I'll show you here in just a moment how to, how to adjust this on a Forester as well. So we go into the car settings, click right here, and under driving assistance, we wanna make sure that pre-collision braking is turned on. So you can turn it on or off right here. I'll turn it off so you can look and see what this what this shows you. So if this is off, it'll tell you up on the dash, and this is on all the Subarus. It'll look like uh, that little icon with the two cars running into one another. It'll be lit up orange and it'll say off, but we're gonna make sure that's turned back on. And there we go. Now, so just because you don't necessarily have to turn that system on or off, there is one other feature that you want to know how to turn on and off. If you are like me, you like to use this feature called Auto Vehicle Hold. It's over here on the second screen. Now you can move this around just like you can on your iPhone. You can move these apps around and I actually put mine right here on the home screen so I can use it often. Now what does this do? This will hold your brake for you in place when the car is in gear. So it's primarily used in traffic. So when you're in stop and go traffic and you wanna let your foot off the brake without putting it in park, you can just turn that on right there. Now this does default off every time that you restart the car. So it's on right now. If I turn the car off and I turn it right back on, this will be defaulted off. So it's kind of nice because you would have had to have already turned that on before going to the car wash. So if you know that you're going to the car wash, just make sure that you have this turned off because even if you are going in, so say for example, we were just in one of those that you keep the car in gear and you drive through the car wash on your own. Well, you don't wanna to have to continuously put your foot back on the gas to release that brake because that's how you release it on the auto vehicle hold. Or in cases where you are on that belt driven system where you have to put the car in neutral, I made a video on this 
about this time last year going through the car wash on my own Outback, I left the auto vehicle hold on, not realizing that that would impact the uh, car wash whenever I was going through. So it actually turned, the as soon as I got on the belt, the brakes engaged and the uh, they had to reset the, the car wash, which it didn't take very long. It took just a couple seconds for them to make sure my car was indeed in neutral and that that was turned off. But that is one other important thing to know. If you're going through the car washes, you wanna make sure that you have your auto vehicle hold turned off. Another tip that I would suggest is make sure that either your climate control is completely turned off, or if you are going to have it on, make sure that your air is not being pulled from outside of the car. So right now, you can see the little arrows showing that all of our, our climate is being pulled in from the outside of the car, which means that all those chemicals and soaps and smells all that's going to come through the vents of the car. And so you'll click right here and click on recirculate. So you're recirculating the cabin air instead of pulling air from outside of the car. When filming this video previously, I made that mistake. And of course the inside of the car had that, that chemical smell to it. And I, I felt like as soon as I got through the car wash, I had to roll down the windows to kind of aerate the car. Now I wanna show you guys how to turn off your pre-collision braking system and your auto vehicle hold system in the Subaru Forester. So this is a 2024. This is going to be applicable to the 2019 through 2024 Subaru Foresters. But starting in 2025, we are going to see a redesign and that redesign is going to come with that larger display and therefore similar controls that we just saw in the Outback. So here's how you turn on and off your pre-collision braking system on the Subaru Forester. It's in the dome light area. We're going to click right here. So it's the same little image with the car, the two cars bumping into one another. And then on the dash, it'll tell you that it's off. So you have to click that for a few seconds to either turn it on or off. To turn it back on, since we've got it off right now, we're going to click and hold. It'll beep and you'll, you'll see that image go away, telling you that your eyesight pre-collision braking system is turned back on. Now with the auto vehicle hold, we have that down here. It's in a nice and easy spot and it will turn on over there lighting up green when it's on. So this is what it looks like when it's off and this is what it looks like when it's on. And again, that does default off whenever you turn your car off. So whenever you turn it back on here, that will automatically be off. So those are the two things to be aware of when you're going through a car wash. No, you don't necessarily need to turn off your pre-collision braking system as we just experienced there. It doesn't interfere with the car's eyesight system, probably due to the fact that we're not going very fast. But if yours does interfere with the eyesight and the emergency braking system, at least now you know how to turn that on and off. And without a doubt, make sure that you turn off your auto vehicle hold so that doesn't interfere with your experience when you're going to get your car washed. I hope you guys found this video informative and valuable. If you did, please consider clicking that like button down below. If you like videos like this, subscribe down below. It's absolutely free. I hope you enjoyed today's video and you have a great day. I will see you in the next one.